Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a long time, but so much has been going on and I've been so busy. But um, I wanted to do a tutorial on this look right here. And I hope you guys like it. So I'm starting off by using this product that I absolutely love. It's called the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Filter. And what it is, is basically, um, I want to say kind of like a primer that just gives you uh, extra shine and luminosity to your skin. And I love to apply it under my foundation and over my foundation as well. Uh, so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier flawless foundation and I'm using a rather small amount because I do not want to um, overuse foundation on my skin because I feel like when I use too much of it it sinks into the fine lines and you can see them a little bit more so I'm just applying a little bit of this foundation all over my face with a beauty blender now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal infallible concealer this is probably my favorite concealer at the moment. Um, I use it on an everyday basis. I'm almost done with this one, about to repurchase because it's just that good. Um, and I'm basically just covering my dark circles and applying it all over my lids. And here, once again, I'm picking up that Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter um, and I'm reapplying that to my cheekbones just to give it that extra glow once again. Now I'm picking up the La Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm applying that to my under eye with my Beauty Blender just to seal in that concealer. Picking up this iconic London um, eyebrow cushion which I absolutely love. I'm just going to fill in my brows um, very lightly. I did get my eyebrows microbladed and I love how they turned out but when I do my makeup I have to kind of reapply some tints to my eyebrows just because when I apply the foundation I kind of go over it uh, with the with the sponge so I have to just kind of revamp them again so picking up this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, soft glam palette I'm going to apply this to the crease of my eyelids and just blend it out Taking this beautiful Cielo Cosmetics Magnificent Metals Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow in Smoky Storm and I am using the applicator that it comes with and just applying it on my lid a little bit above my crease um, because you know when I do open my eyes um, I want you to be able to see it. And here I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I am applying a darker eyeshadow from the same Soft Glam palette that I used before and I'm just making my outer corner a little darker. Now I'm using this Stila Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. I'm just doing my little cat eyeliner here. Pretty simple. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Palette and it's basically highlighter, blush, and powder for the contour all in one palette. I love this product, it's so beautiful, it sinks into the skin and after I have been wearing it for a couple of hours, it looks even better. So now I'm lining my lash line or my waterline with the Maybelline um, pencil and I am applying the dark brown that I applied on the outer corner of my eye, I am applying that to my lower lash line and just blending it out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm applying the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, just giving it a lash coat. Oh my god, the faces that we make when we're putting this on our eyes is crazy. Um, taking the Benefit Eyebrow Setting Gel, I'm just giving my eyebrows a coat. Going back into the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette, I am picking up the contour shade and I am just lightly bronzing my face. Just slightly, nothing too crazy. Because I do want my face to be very subtle and nice. And I feel like this 
palette just gives it that nice beautiful soft touch glow from within type thing I love it just applying a little bit of that highlighter on the bridge of my nose as well just because I wanted to pop and the my brow bone and now I'm picking out these house of lashes serene light lashes and Again, keeping it very simple, don't want it to be too dramatic. And I'm picking up this MAC Cosmetics World Lip Pencil and I'm just lining my lips with this. I don't really need to make my lips look fuller because they're pretty big. Um, and I am using this MAC Vamplify Lip Gloss. I can't remember the shade right now, but I will put the description in the box below. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you next time with my next look. Hopefully it won't take that long. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell button so that you guys can be notified when I upload my next video. Bye!